Ladies uh, and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobit Potato. We are playing Stellaris as the Skaldari Confederacy. Things are going, I would say, out of 10, maybe like a 9.5 right now. Things are really, really, really good. Our ally has managed to uh, occupy said planet over here, Pan Doc Mog. And now we are going to take... Oh my goodness, what is this guy doing? Oh, whoops, not this one. Over here. We need to get over yonder. I think these guys are gonna... Hostiles you're gonna invade hostiles. Engaged. Don't... I don't care about invading hostiles. I want to engage these guys. I don't really care about this station up, up here. I care about these guys. I care about killing the landing army. You're gonna land armies and moving Verderon system. You keep on toggling, like I don't know what you're gonna do. I mean, look at you. You're so confused. You are so, 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 so confused. Well, just, <laughs> just go and, uh, go and stomp on these guys, I guess, then. Oh no, they ran away. Oh well, I mean, we managed to capture the, uh, the system anyway. Head on over to the big one, the big, the big old capital. Which is what we are after. Going to give us loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of war score, which is phenomenal. Uh, first speaker is underway. 30 days left until that happens. Still running a little bit of a negative credit situation. Honestly, I don't give a damn. I, I, I do not care. It doesn't really make a difference. Embark you, embark you, embark you, and embark you. And then get all the transport fleets. Oh, shit. Admiral died. Uh, I, don't, I think that's us actually out of admirals. I'll have a little check. Yeah, we're completely out of admirals. And I'm pretty sure that the admiral that we recruited was... Newish? I don't know. Speed plus 20%. We'll get you on board. Uh, oh, shit. We need to assign you to uh, actually an army. <laughs> Good idea, potato. Boom. There we go. All right, resume. Uh, trade treaties timed out, don't care. Still after the Bitharian stone, indeed we are. First speaker's reign has come to an end. A new ruler has been elected. Re-elected the current guy. Sweet. What is this? Oh, gosh darn. All right, this is, uh, this is a real system. This is a real system. This is a big fleet as well. I mean, we're coming in here. We're going to cream cracker these guys, I feel, but hey-ho, we got to do it anyway. These are our uh, our ally ships over here as well, and I presume our vassal ships are going to be coming in pretty soon as well. No, there's there's pretty much nothing that they can do to stop me. Yeah, they're just warping out. In fact, I'm pretty sure these guys are just going to warp out as well. well. That's that's three battleships, five cruisers. That's not bad actually. Yeah, let's try and kill these guys because. They are definitely going to die. Like, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, my fleet is strong enough to take them out. And, uh... Yeah, we are... We're going to we're gonna destroy them. Uh, yeah, the Admiral's dead. Yes. 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 Beautiful. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't even care about that. I don't care about anything, to be honest. How goes this battle? Yeah, I would expect it to go completely fine. The battle, the battleships are going to be tough, but let's face it, shouldn't be too much of a problem. We've got a lot of destroyers at the front to just tank a lot of the damage. Really, really, really comfortable with the way that that is going to go. So, transport ships. Transport ships. We're going to need all of them. Come over here. Shit. We need to get you out of here as soon as possible. Where is this? Let's try and pause. Let's try and get them out. Just, just try and get them out if that's possible. Alright. Where are you? I really, really, really want to try and... Promising officer, great, thank you. Alright, let's get you back over here. 
we can try and catch this army out, then that would be hugely good for us. You need to get over here, bro. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, alright, he got out. That's great. Although I am kind of worried that this planet is going to be taken. Wouldn't be fantastic. But hey-ho. We're bringing in our big fleet now. We're going to actually warp in right over here. We're going to take out their... Uh, well, the entirety of their everything, actually. If we warp in at a good point. Now, I am worried about them. Like, trying to reinvade this planet. But honestly, I'm not worried about it at all. There's two transport fleets over here. And we've got a guy that's quite fast. So we're definitely going to be able to take out 13 transport ships. Phenomenal. Great start. They've got basically no defenses. And that is a lot of investment and, uh, and armies that are just going to be wiped out. However, we need to be careful for this fleet going to engage our own uh, transport fleets. Alright, head on over here. This guy's going to try and get away, but I'm, I'm kind of hopeful. Yeah, 55% war score. This this is this is starting to get kind of brutal. Kind of freaking brutal. Okay, well, we're, we're getting there. Come on, come on. Evading hostiles. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. It's going to be close, that's for sure. No, you can see them charging up. Ah, well. We need to head back over. Uh, moving to Gib the Gribbon system. Do we just go for the... Do we just go for the home world? I think we might just go for the home world. I think that's the right call to make. We head back, try and take out the enemy. In fact, maybe we try and take out the enemy fleet. Like, that might be the better thing to do. Now, let's go to the... Let's go to over here. If we can take out... If we can take out the enemy fleet, then that would be huge for us. That would be really, really freaking good. So, we're going to try and do that. Fingers crossed our allies follow closely after us. Indeed, it looks like they're going to be doing such a thing, which is fantastic. Except they're going to be doing it in two little short bursts. There we go. Hey, here we are. Now, is this guy engaged in the battle yet? He's not. He is now, though. That's good. Uh, now, it says that we are not going to win this battle. I am 100% confident that we are going to win this battle. It's just straight up not cross my mind that we're going to lose it. Yeah, we are going to win this battle. We've got to. And look, here here come here come the here come the allies. So honestly, super not worried about anything right now. Okay. How are things over here? Yeah, okay. We're, it looks like we're managing to hold that planet. Promising officer. Fantastic. Uh, situation log is being updated all the freaking time. That's okay. How is research coming along? Research is coming along nicely. That's good. That's really good. Alright. This battle is still ongoing. It's a big one. It's a toughie. But um, I'm very confident that we're going to win it. We've still got 11 destroyers to go through. Or the enemy still has to go through 11 destroyers before they get at our good stuff. So, honestly, I'll take that. There is this little, you know, bloody annoying stupid spaceport that's, uh, that's engaging us, but... Again, I'm not worried. Powerful pop factions. Um, yeah, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that later. We've, we've got some stuff to deal with that. Not very much, though. In fact, what we could just do... Let me let me go and have a look. We can turn... Uh, whatchamacallit on again? Social welfare programs. Let's do that for now. It's not great. It gives us a huge energy deficit, but... Ah, I suppose it'll be okay. Okay, take out the spaceport. And then we need to bombard the shit out of that planet. What have we got over here? We got a transport fleet. Are you gonna land armies on the planet? Situation log updated. Okay, let's get you guys to come in here. There we go. Come on in. 
I don't know if they're actually going to be able to land the armies on with planetary defenses. Like, are they going to have to bombard? Or are they just going to be able to land armies straight away? That is fucked up. I do not know how that works. Well, we're warping in our guys. Fingers crossed it's going to make a difference. Okay, let's see what's happening. Nothing much happened there. Okay. All right, merge all together. Fantastic. Merge all together. And then go over here. All right. Are we bombarding the planet over in Gribbon? Because we should be. Bombard. Oh, yeah. We're bombarding V. See me. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, and I, am I right in thinking that the enemy has basically got no army left? I mean, that doesn't count as an army. A transport fleet does not count as an army in my books. So, yeah, they basically have no army left. I mean, woohoo, I guess. Oh, shit. They do, they do technically have an army left. Which could potentially be a problem, but I'm not too worried. Uh, they're going to do some shenanigans over there. Ugh, I kind of want to... kind of want to just pause a second and create a new fleet from this. And we'll just put a couple of cruisers in, really. Cruiser, cruiser, destroyer, destroyer. Great. So, just a small little fleet here. We'll select this bad boy and we'll send them over here and they just patrol the system. I just enter the orbit. Yep. I mean, it's not particularly strong, but it's strong enough to ward off any opposition. I mean, two cruisers in comparison to one cruiser is more than enough to make a difference in uh, in a fight, should it be needed. So, shouldn't be too darn difficult. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get stuck in this system if we warp in. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. I'm pretty sure we destroyed the gravity well or whatever the fuck you want to call it, so... Pretty, pretty happy about that. Oh, we've even got two other cruisers that are coming in. I completely forgot about that, actually. Well, perfect timing. Wait, do they control this? Oh, shit, they totally control this planet? Space battle, space battle, blockade. Oh, shit, they totally control it. I mean, it doesn't matter. Because we're fucking winning the battle tremendously. But honestly, not bothered in the slightest. Okay, merge these two fleets together. Uh, 734. Come on. Alright. You head over here, try and beat up this dude if you can. This transport fleet needs to stay well clear. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. I don't think that we're going to win this one somehow. I do not think that we're going to win this fight. I mean, theoretically, we could. But I'm still kind of doubtful. I think we've got shield penetrating, actually. So, I don't know if the weapons that he's using are shield penetrating. So, yeah, we should have way more health than he does. We're using missiles, so we have 100% shield penetration. That's not going to be a difficult fight at all, actually. I thought that it would be, but hey-ho. I guess not. I guess we can quite easily win it. I mean, we've got more health than them, since we just fucking ignore their shields. And we've also got backup, so <laughs> quite frankly, doesn't even make a shred of difference. Alright, let's land some armies. Hostile fleet engaged. There's always a hostile fleet engaging. There we go. Finally, our reinforcements have arrived. One of the cruisers was taken down, but not without heavy casualties on the other side. So basically, it's it's even. It's even. And, uh, hey, resettlement cost and share the burden. I mean, I only care about the resettlement cost. I don't really care about share the burden because we're not we're not doing slavery. That's not that's not our cup of tea, folks. That's not our cup of tea. Orbital hydroponic farms is pretty shit, to be honest. I don't really give a damn about it. I'd care more about getting a tile blocker. Like, I, I really do rate tile blockers very highly. Situation log updated. All right, you come over here. Great. And we've got loads of transport transport armies. That's not the word that I, I meant to use, but hey-ho. Armies still haven't landed on v but they will soon. You guys are kind of a little bit strong, but it's okay. We introduced the edict and suddenly everybody's super chill right now because 
Happiness is being boosted by 15%? Yeah, 15%. Only at the cost of like a gazillion minerals as well, so <laughs> we can count our lucky blessings. 91 war score, so lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Uh, worth bearing in mind, I think in the latest patch they did actually change uh, change the fact that you needed to, to actually invade a planet for it to be classified as yours. So I don't think we actually need to own a planet for them to give it to us in the event of a bad thing happening. All right, great. Everybody bombarding, good. Everybody bombarding. That's the way that we like it. That's the way that we like it, everybody bombarding. And how are we doing on the battle for Visami? Oh shit, actually kind of tough actually. Um, fuck. Come over here and invade this planet, I guess. Seems that we need... Planetary invasion failed. Yeah, looks that way. What is this guy? Garrison army. Is this... Oh, look! This is a fucking... All damage dealt to this army by invading armies is multiplied by two times due to the state of the planetary fortifications. Yeah, but these guys seem pretty fucking... Pretty fucking dope, actually, in comparison to the regular troop. I mean, the Colonial Watch, pretty shit. This guy, fucking dope. A little bit of a shame, but alas, hey-ho, that's the sad reality of it. We're blockading loads of fucking planets anyway, so honestly doesn't matter. Um, why is the V-key split? Like, the V-key should not be. Okay, you are going to be coming over to the capital. There we go, go on bombard, should be easy enough to do, and you are going to be landing the armies in the Gribbon system. Fantastic. And I know the invasion failed, but hey-ho. Also, our allies should be moving troops into the area, and they should probably try landing some, some dudes on the planet. I mean, there's this one guy. That's a corvette, so it's not even an army. Great. <laughs> Not even an army. That is worse than useless. We still bombarding this planet? I mean, we are, slowly but surely. Well, not that slowly, actually. Merge you. Just a little bit of uh, cleaning up the, uh, the state of our navy, which is always nice. How is integration of my favorite vassal? Is this a peace proposal? Migration access. Yeah, why not? Why the hell not? Uh, and you are 433 months. So we're a, like a third of the way there. I think we started on like month 600 and something or something. Who bloody well knows at this point? Who bloody well knows? How is the invasion of Visami going? Like, this should be a priority for us. It's really, really important. This guy's bringing in 12 forces as well. So very, very nice indeed. Zoom, and I imagine that our ally is going to land the armies. Landing armies, indeed they are. Perfect. And uh, yeah, we can see our our friendly armies that are coming down to help us. And I presume that they'll pop up next to ours. Beautiful, look at that. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Wow, that guy's not even in focus. <laughs> look, he's, he's off the screen. Oh, that is good. I like that. That is funny. Yeah, we, we wore them down. We absolutely did. We control the planet now. We have 100% war score. We can take pretty much everything. And uh, and we're going to force the demands. Oh, shit. Great, they, they conceded to us. And we got everything that we wanted apart from one singular system. And now we have got to deal with the whole sort of rebuilding of this empire. Did we not? Adar? What? Did we not get it? I mean... Demand vassalization. Hostile attitude. Um, I mean, we could work to establish an embassy and fix our relations, but I, I doubt I doubt that that's possible. Valiant Empire joined the Sanguine Compact. Yeah, so 
no surprise, as soon as it's fucking not uh, not a threat, not powerful anymore, it, it joins uh, it joins somebody that is not powerful. That's fine. It's not a problem. A relative power of subjects should... It should be different now, right? I mean, it's minus 306, or it was minus 306, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it should it should fix itself. Mm -hmm. All right, so you don't care about we have won this this war with seed all the planets. However, we didn't end up getting this planet. I'm pretty sure we demanded this planet, didn't we? I don't know. I do not know. We won the invasion, missing an action. What the fuck? Unemployed pops. Why are you unemployed? Honestly, your happiness is not bad considering you just were recently conquered. That is actually not too much of a problem. This building has been deactivated. Uh, reactivate it, please. That would be absolutely fantastic of you. Uh, starvation on one of the planets, that is not good at all. Why is there starvation going on, though? I do not understand why there is starvation that is going on. Yeah, we'll probably start to see... Return to the Valiant Empire. Yeah, we'll start to see some people that are seriously pissed off. That's 52, 52 population that are actually a member of that. Conditional effect, yeah, get rid of that, get rid of that. I mean, I don't know why... Let us end this charade. Yeah, sure. But I still don't understand why... Uh, why this is the case. I mean, that's so weird. That's so, so weird. It's a hydroponic farm mark two. This is an empire capital complex. Holy shit. Wow. Holy cow. That is awesome. Uh, I don't think we even have an empire capital complex on Skaldaria, actually. That's something... That's something that we should probably check, actually. What do we have? No, we've only got a planetary capital. We can't, uh, we can't even upgrade to an empire capital complex yet. That is fucking awesome. Huh. Who would have thought? Uh, I, I don't really know the quality of all of these planets. I just sort of wanted them rather than uh, caring a huge amount about them. Yeah, Empire minus 20%. You know, that's that sucks that we have to do that, but hey-ho. 8.8% of, uh, of these guys giving us some shit. Not thrilled about that. Not thrilled about that at all, but alas, that's the way of the world. Yeah, food, food is gonna be a problem. I think we probably just sacrifice a single... Like, you know, one of these guys. Whatever you call them. Or maybe maybe minerals. Like, we're, we're fine for minerals. This, this only produces... It's a, it's a power hub, right? We can't, we can't get rid of the power hub. We need to keep the power hub. Um, engineering facility. I like all the extra science. I really do. So I'm gonna, gonna keep that around. You're unhappy. You really shouldn't be unhappy. But as soon as we fix starvation, that will fix at least some of it. Some of the problem, I guess. Alright, well, we'll replace you with a... Could do a frontier clinic, but we kind of want to grow... Kind of want to grow the amount of food that we're uh, we're mucking around with. So, yeah, we'll change it over for a hydroponic farm. Uh, negative balance. That's honestly not something that I'm worried about. That's something that is going to be fixed as soon as... We can, actually. So, where are all you, all you guys going? Yeah. Well, whatever the case, we need to get them all together. We need to get them all mer merged up, and then we need to send them all the way to a spaceport that has the appropriate facilities in it. Now, looking after Bitharian stone over here, that's something that I want. So, we're going to do our very best to get it. Uh, it might actually cost us a little bit of influence to build a frontier outpost. I think that might actually be the best call. I mean, if we built a frontier outpost, then that would be hugely productive. Not have access to this. I mean, surely they shouldn't remain in control of this area, right? Surely that shouldn't be the case. And actually, quickly, let's just check. How long does the peace treaty last? Declare war. We cannot declare war until... Okay, about 10 years. That's that's fine. Okay, so I guess we, we're not 
able to get access to this Pitharian Stone. I mean, that's not a problem. We are going to get access to this Pitharian Stone eventually. But, hey-ho. Also, I think we need to fucking eradicate these guys. Like, it just has to happen. It just has to happen. But, oh well. That's something that we'll have to worry about in the next episode, ladies and gents. Because for now, my name, of course, has been Obita Potato. Thank you very, very much for watching. We have been playing Stellaris as the Skaldari Confederacy, and I will see you next time. Bye!